and hello everyone welcome back to another NIM tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at case statements. Now for those of you who are new to programming case statements are very similar to if statements in the sense that they can check if a value is true. But in some cases, a case statement might just be the faster solution in terms of programming and typing than an if statement. Because instead of having to go if x is equal to this or if x is equal to this, for example, let's go and say x is equal to 10. Now, let's say we want to check a bunch of things. So we can say if x is 1 or x is 3 or x is 5 or x is 7 or x is 9 and these are all the checks we want to do right and in here all we want to do is say echo x is odd right and then we can say else if x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 8 then we want to say echo x is even finally we want to say lf x is equal to 10 echo x is 10 and then finally else we can just say if it's not any of those echo x is not a valid number okay now if we were to run this we'll get x is 10 cool now if we were to make x 2 we'll get x is even if we make x 3 we'll get x is odd and let's run this just so we don't get all of that other output so x is odd finally then if we go x is uh, 100 then we'll get x is not a valid number okay this is a basic if statement but you saw this took me a very long time to code out and it's not really nice to read it becomes a little bit difficult to read at this point and it's just overall it's not a great experience with case statements this issue is somewhat solved. Let's create a case statement. So case x. So we're saying with all of the following checks, x is what we're going to check of. And we state our things here. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And you can echo the same thing. So we said basically this is the exact same as saying this. So we're saying for all of the following of statements here, x will be compared to these values. Cool. And let's also go of 2, 4, 6, 8. And here we can echo x is even. And again, of 10, there you can echo x is 10. And you can also use an else statement, so else, and we can echo x is not a valid number. This case statement is the exact same as this if statement. However, the difference is this didn't take me that long to write. And I believe this is also easier to read. There are a few other minor differences, but in this scenario, these two are the exact same, where this is just saying, okay, for the following checks, x is what we're going to check again. Is x one or three or five or seven or nine? If not, is check is x 2, 4, 6, or 8. If not, check if x is 10. If not, then print this. So let's remove this if statement and just run over this case statement. Run it. x is not a valid number. We go 10. x is 10. We go 1. x is odd. We go 2. x is even. So a case statement just kind of made it a bit easier to work with. It's dependent on what you prefer. If you prefer to use if statements, use if statements. If people are not tell you use case statements because they're faster or something like that, don't worry about it. On the end of the day, it's what you prefer. 
If you prefer using case statements, then use case statements. If you prefer using if statements, use if statements. I don't really have a preference, or I do towards if statements, but I use both case and if whenever I feel it's needs needed. If there's a massive if statement with which I don't really want to cover with if statements because that's a lot of unnecessary typing and whatnot, I'll use a case statement. Otherwise, I would just default to an if statement. So it's up to you when and where you would like to use a case or an if statement. It's up to you if you would like to use an if statement or a case statement. Anyhow, let's take another look at a case statement that we can make. Let's say we have a type color is an enum. And I will get into enums at a later date, but for right now, just know that they can store values for us, such as red, green, and blue. So let's say uh, you are developing a TV, and a TV has pixels, and each pixel can be either red, green, or blue. And this is what generally makes, or even a keyboard that has RGB lighting on it. You can either tell it to be red, green, or blue. Well, in this case, it's pretty neat. We can say let text color is equal to color dot red. So now let's say if the back light on your keyboard, which is RGB, should be red. It's like that. Then we can say case text color of color dot red. And now we can compare it to the red enum. Echo text is red. And then again, we can check of color dot blue. Then we can say echo text is blue. And finally of color dot green echo text is green. Now you'll notice here we don't add an else statement. Now in the previous example, if we actually go to that previous example. So here, if I were to remove this else statement and save, you'll get, you'll see we get an error because not all the cases are covered. So a case statement also makes sure to check all of the cases that could happen. In this case, this is a number. So it can have a bunch more cases. So in that case, we should also add an else statement. It wants us to do that. Where here, there, there can only be three cases because this color enum can only have or can only exist with three different values. So by putting an else statement here, it will never execute because this color can only be one of three values. Unlike a number which can be more than 10 or which can be a different number that you didn't include in that case statement. So else statements are required if you have something, but you don't cover all of the cases in that case statement. Anyhow, we'll get back to that in a second. If we run this, we'll get text as red because it's subtype red. If we go blue, then we'll get text as blue. Now let's say we don't want to cover the, the blue case. However, when we save it, we get an error that says not all cases are covered. So if I'm going to run this, it's going to tell us not all cases are covered, missing blue. Well, in that case, we can use an else, right? But we don't want to do anything if it gets blue. So we can use discard. We'll get into discard later. But right now, you can think of discard as literally saying skip. Don't care about it right now. We don't give a, a damn about what's happening here. So it's just going to skip this else statement then. Now if we run it, we'll not get any output, but we'll also not get any error by the fact that we didn't cover blue. But if we go red, or let's go green this time, we will get the text is green. And that's the basics of a case statement. Case statements are very similar to if statements in the sense that they can cover a state and check if those two things are the same. So if this text color is of this type. And if you want to add more types, you can add a comma and here we can use a color dot blue. And now if it's blue, it will also be here and this else statement will just not be necessary. Anyhow, so now we'll cover both of these. Or, and here we'll just cover this one. It also has an else statement. So it's very similar to an if statement, but it is not quite an if statement. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all again 
in the next NIM tutorial.